Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So I'm here with a different type of video. This time is a DIY nail polish rack holder that I made out of a picture frame. Yes, so I used these little old picture frames I got from Goodwill and turned it into this really cute nail polish rack. So that way you can display your nail polishes, not forget about colors you have, you know, just have them out in the open, a really cute way to display them. This area here is pretty much my makeup area, so everything just ties in together. So I want to give a special shout out thanks to Modem Glam for sending me these nail polishes to review for you guys. The first color is Gossip, really cute pink color. The second one is Amore Azul, so pretty baby blue. And then you have Vanilla Sky, so cute. And then you have Kobe, really cute soft purple. And then we have Sweet Little Thing. And all of these nail polishes are gel polish. And I'll leave a link down below showing you guys how I use these gel polishes as well. All right, and another thing that I receive is this portable nail polish organizer that holds up to 48 colors. As you can see, it's really cool. It opens up on both sides so you can display and see all of your nail polishes. It also came with some little tote things as well. So that was a cute little bonus. So here, as you can see, I'm able to add my nail polishes on each side. This is an easy way that you can store your um, nail polishes because I know when mine aren't out visible, they just be in a plastic bag over to the corner or something. So if you don't want to make your rack, you can just personally go ahead and purchase this organizer. It's affordable. It's a cute way to display and store your um, nail polish. And as you can see, a lot of different nail polishes holds, not just the Modern Glam, all different shapes and sizes. All right, let's get into how I made this nail rack. As you can see, this is a picture frame, and I got mine from Goodwill. I've taken the glass and stuff off of it because I've recorded this, I know, 50 million times, and I have no clue where the original footage of that. But this is a nail, um, not a nail rack. <laughs> this is a picture frame, both of my receipt I got from Goodwill for just a couple dollars. And to keep this very affordable and because I'm cheap, I'm using some paint sticks from Lowe's. These are just the five gallon paint sticks that I'm using for my shelves as you see and then I'm using this last time I used this piece of wood as my back piece. So you just want to cut that out and I'm just using a knife because I'm ghetto and I wasn't going to go buy anything. But if you don't want to do this, you can just use the back of the um, picture frame and I'll show you guys that later on. So when you're doing it, you want to make sure you have your measurements right. Go ahead and measure everything. As you can see, you can do a vertical or horizontal. Just make sure your nail polishes fit, you know. So I'm just going to cut my paint stick using a knife and make sure everything fits. As you can see, I'm only going to have one um, shelf for two rows here. So this time I will be using a hot glue gun, which works perfect. Or you can use some E6000 glue. Or last time I used some Gorilla Glue, um, Gorilla Wood glue and some nails. Last time I did a little bit more, but this time I just got to just figure out an easier way to do it. And since it's a picture frame, it comes with grooves, but you want to put it on that top outer piece. So once you get all your measurements, then you can just glue them down. And it's hot glue, so it's going to, you know, adhere to your wood really quick. All you're doing is creating a box, pretty much. You're just making like a shadow box. This is a way you can make a shadow box. Oh my God, I can make a shadow box next time. <laughs> but yeah, so you're just going to put all your four corners on so that you can have the box part of your picture frame that is going to be your nail rack. So as you can see here, all you're doing is just making a box. And I did spray paint this last time. That's why it's like this rose gold color because like I said, I've been doing this for the last couple months, just haven't got, gotten to doing it. So just put in that middle piece, that middle shelf piece, and voila, you pretty much have a box. So like I said, you can use a piece of plywood and cut that out, or you can just use the back of the picture frame 
which is already usually like cardboard or a thicker piece. And just hot glue that on there and ta-da, you're done. That is it. How amazing, how cool. So yes, get all your nail polishes out the corner in this bag and make you a nail rack, which is very sturdy. You don't have to worry about it, but if you want extra security, just put some of those little small nails in it and you'll be good to go. And I'm just taking a little bit of my um, um, glue and just putting that on the back. A little extra security, that's all. And then here, I'm going to test it out, make sure everything fits, and it does. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this white. I don't want to do rose gold anymore, but it would have been cool. So I'm just going to spray paint that white. Make sure you do it thin, a couple different coats. And here, this is what I hung it up with. One of these little hangers from the dollar store I just put on the back. And that's it. Just going to put up my modern glams all in one on that one little rack. It looks so good. So you guys, let me know what you think about this. If you would like to see more DIY videos, I'll definitely try to get those out to you. I do have a nail video coming up. I promise you guys, I am going to do it. It just takes so long to do your nails, like to do your own nails. Yeah, but look out for that. Hopefully in the next week, I will have that out for you guys. But this is pretty much my little makeup area. And I just boosted it up a little bit with these really cute DIY nail racks. So let me know what you guys think about this. Please leave me a comment down below. I love you guys. Bye.